to my video. I am Maya Sari Bangun from class 6B. I am students of Faculty Letters Universitas Methodist Indonesia. Before, I said thanks to my lecture, Dr. Esrona Barita, SSM Home, who get me to make this video. In this video, I'm going to present my mini research. My title is A Semantic Analysis of Lexical Relation in Muse Selectic Song Lyric. In this video, my focus Chapter 1 Introduction 1.1 The Background of the Study Language is the core instrument of communication, so it cannot be separated from human being. People use language to communicate in society, say areas. Even language also can be used to express the feeling. Language can be study. The study of language is called linguistic. Linguistic is the, is the study of language as a system of communication. There are several branches linguistic, namely phonetics, phonology, morphology, semantics, and syntax. Semantic is the main important in learning language. 1.2 The problems of the study the first, what are the types of lexical relations that have been found in Muselectic Song Lyric? The second, what are the functions of lexical relations have been found in Muselectic Song Lyric? One point three, the objective of the study. 1st, to find out the types of lexical relations that have been found in Muse Selectic Song Lyric. 2nd, to find out the function of lexical relations that have been found in Muse Selectic Song Lyric. 1.4 The Scope of the Study In this, the writer focuses on the types of lexical relation in Muse Selective Song Lyric. In order to give a clear description and explanation, is the use of lexical relation term is also consideration in the limitation of the study because in this thesis, the writer will analyze the lexical relation that found in Muse Song Lyric semantically. 1.5 The Significance of the Study One Theoretical This thesis is conducted to develop the explanation about lexical relation. Even though there are some materials about lexical relation in in this study, the writer hopes this thesis can support the other existing materials. Two practical the result of the study can be used to motivate the students to master some lexical relation, and it cannot be used to comprehend the meaning in the lexical relation that is used in a sentence. For the other researchers, can be used this study as a reference in further research dealing with lexical relation and semantically analysis. Chapter 2 Literature Review 2.1 Semantics Adi Sutrisno states that semantic is the study of meaning in language. It means the study of semantics must therefore include the concept of words, sentences, and utterances. According by Said, semantic is the study of meaning communicated through language and semantics the study word and sentence 2.2 2. lexical relation according by murphy lexical relation is often loosely defined as the study of word meaning although we word 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 as we shall see is not the most safe for what term to use say it states that lexical relation are the relationship of the meaning of word which belongs to a particular activity or area of specialist knowledge. Two point 
2.1.1 Types of Lexical Relation Hyponym According to Horford and Hesley, hyponym is a sense relation between predicates or sometimes longer phrases such that the meaning of one predicate or phrase is include the meaning of the other. Synonym Synonyms are typically single lexemes of the same way, a word which has the same sense or nearly the same as another word. Antonymy According to Kreitler, antonymy is two sentences that differ in polarity like this are mutually contradictory. Polysemy Polysemy is a term to refer to a word which has a set of different meanings which are related by extension. In a language form, polysemy is the relation between the form of language and sets of meaning and sense. Homonymy Homonymy are unrelated sense of the same phonological word. And the last is meronymy. Meronymy is a term used to describe a pathway relationship between lexical items. 2.3 Previous Study The researcher takes some references from the other researcher that related to this research. These researchers are also used to be main reference in conducting this research because this this is development of the previous study. Chapter 3 Research Method Three point one methodology of the research. The type of research that used in this research was qualitative by seeking and observing the materials then continued to the writer's own analysis in order to obtain the required data. According to Hancock, qualitative research is coordinated with the developing explanation of social phenomena and it aims to help us to understand the world in which we live and why things are the way the, they are. Also, Melong state the qualitative research is research procedure that procedure descriptive data in the form of written or oral words of the, pi the people and behaviors that can be observed. 3.2 to object the object of the research the object of this study was the lexical relation that have been found in muse selected song lyric the writer used seven muse selected song lyric in which their lyric were taken to be analyzed after discovering the lexical relation in song lyric the writer searched from for the most dominant lexical relation used in the seven muse selected song lyric 3.3 Data Source The research used primary data and secondary data. Original data means the writer takes the data naturally. According to Melong, qualitative research is directed to individually background holistically, so the writer cannot define the people based on the variable or hypothesis. The data was directly related with the problem observed and directly delivered from the researcher. The source of this research primary data, the data that are collected from you selected song lyric, secondary data, book, a book, website, and journal. 3.4 Technique of the data collection. In this study, the writer used fill not as Technique of collecting data. Field notes are contemporaneous notes or observation or conversation during the conduct of qualitative research. Three point five. Technique of data analysis. Kurzweil state that there are three steps in analyzing the data. The writer followed two three steps, such as 
one preparing and organizing two coding and the last is represent representing the data